so kb we have obtained now we can find out the bearing capacity of the bolts so bearing capacity v b if we write so that is equal to 2.5 kb dt fu divided by 1.25 so value of kb is different for section 11 that is at this section where only one bolt is there it is different and for these rest five bolts it is different so we can use two values of kb so for the first term it is equal to 2.5 into into 6 6061 multiplied by d that is 20 now here the value of t so as i said t is the summation of thickness of the combined plates experiencing bearing stress in the same direction now here what happens here the cover plates experience the bearing stress in the same direction if we try to pull it in this direction so bearing stress is applied on this face here whereas on these both the cover plates the bearing is stress is applied on these faces that are on the same side so here we have to check this criteria summation of thickness of combined plates experiencing bearing stress in the same direction so we have to check whether the thickness of this main plate is less or the summation of thicknesses of cover plates that is in this case it is 10 plus 10 that is 20 mm if it is less so here the main plate is of less thickness so that's why we compare this 16 mm plus and this 10 plus 10 that is 20 mm and we take the minimum of these two so that's why we will take it as 16 mm so that is 20 into 16 fu is equal to 410 that is the ultimate stress of plate divided by 1.25 that is for one bolt and for the remaining five bolts it is equal to 5 into 2.5 into 0.6591 into 20 into 16 into 410 divided by 1.25 and so from here the bearing strength of the bolts or of the of the bolts it comes as this is equal to this part comes as 159.04 and this part comes as 864.74 so the summation is 1023.78 kN so we have obtained the bearing strength and shear capacity both we have obtained for the bolts so obviously this again the shear capacity is less so that defines our bolt strength so bolt strength here is equal to 619.884 619.884 kN now we have to find out the strength of the plate at critical section strength of plate now before doing that I want to explain you one more thing that how this load moves when some load is applied how the stress is are transferred internally so if this is the bolt one bolt here and one bolt one more bolt here so if we are pulling it here so because of this tension some compressive stress will be applied in this in this plate so this is the direction of compressive stress so at this point full compressive stress will will, will be applied now after this some stress will be transferred in this part and how much stress will be transferred equal to the bolt strength so the value equal to bolt strength will be transferred and that will go to the cover plate so that will move in this direction and remaining will come here and after that some more will be transferred here and remaining will come here so that is why what happens this section here and this section here if we compare these two so this if it is 1 1 so this section faces more stress if we are talking about the main plate because all the stress is coming 
directly on these boards and after that it is some part of it is shared by these cover plates but before that no part of this stress is shared by anything so this section is more critical so that's why if it is more critical and we know the rupture strength it is given as 0.9 into an into fu divided by 1.25 so this an should be more if we want this the joint to be better then this an should be more whereas if we talk about the critical plate sorry the cover plate then some stress is transferred at this point and some more stress is transferred at this point so this section here becomes a critical section for cover plate because this is the part where all the stresses are being transferred and this is the point when it is facing the maximum stress this cover plate so because of this reason because we need a and more at this section that's why we choose this kind of pattern that is diamond pattern or this staggered page we choose because of this region reason because we can obtain greater value of net area at this section and one more thing what i wanted to include here that if we are coming at this section so it includes the strength of this bolt also because some part of this stress is being taken by this bolt which is which was at this section so when we try to find out the capacity at this section then in that case we'll add the strength of bolt at this section also so that way we'll find out here our rupture strength so here we have three sections given in the question that is 1 1 2 and 3 3 we'll calculate the rupture strength for all these three sections and we'll see what is the minimum of these three so at 1 1 what is the rupture strength tdn is equal to i'll use directly the formula 0.9 into an so what will be the value of an 200 minus 1 bolt hole that is 22 that is 200 Minus 22 into what is the thickness of the plate? The thickness is equal to 16 mm. So from here, that is equal to multiplied by 16, multiplied by 410 divided by 1.25, and so this comes as divided by 1000 also. So this comes as 840.729 kilonewton. now we move to section 22 so tdn would be equal to 0.9 into 200 minus 2 bolts are there at section 2 so that is 2 into 22 into 16 into 410 divided by 1.25 into 1000 but there will be the strength of this bolt also because some stress is are taken by this bolt so that is plus the strength of bolt so what was the strength of single bolt so the strength of single bolt i pointed out that is equal to 103.314 103.314 so this value comes out as 840.133 kN similarly we can obtain the for third section also that is section 33 tdn is equal to 0.9 into 200 minus 3 into 22 into 16 into 410 divided by 1.25 into 1000 plus we will now add the strength of three bolts that is one at section 11 and two at section 22 that is 3 into 103.314 and from here we get this tdn at this section is equal to 942.851 now what is the critical section the critical section is the section where this rupture strength is minimum so this section 22 here is the critical section for which rupture strength is minimum so that gives us the strength of the plate now what is the maximum force the the original question was 
what is the maximum force that can be transferred so the maximum force would be the minimum of bolt strength and and plate strength so obviously the bolt strength was lower in shear this value was equal to 619.884 so from here we get the the maximum load that can be transferred is equal to 619.884 kilo newton so that is the factor load and if you want to find out the working load that can be transferred so we will divide this value by 1.5 that will give us the working load so let's see one more question here so in this question why did I take this here we have connected two plates of different size that is one plate is of 18 mm other one is of 10 mm so to connect these two here we have used one more plate and that is our packing plate this is our packing plate so the purpose of packing plate is not to transfer any load it is just to maintain this or it is there to make this connection possible so it is not being used in the in the process of transferring load so let's try to find out the efficiency or yeah we can find out the efficiency or we can efficiency you can calculate i'll just show you the shear strength and bearing strength so first let's see the shearing strength so for shearing strength this is a butt joint so that is equal to v s if we denote it with f u v divided by root 3 into 1.25 so both one one shear plane we can assume at the shank and one at root so that is equal to 1.78 times pi by 4 into d square and that is that value is for one bolt and we have six bolts here so multiplied by six d is again 20 we are using m20 and fe415 and grade 4.6 bolt and so from here we get the shear capacity as so whatever we get from here here we need one more correction also this packing plate thickness is 8 mm and as i told you if this thickness is greater than 6 mm then we apply this correction packing plate correction and the value of this correction is given as 1 minus 0 0.0125 tpk and if you put the value of tpk as 8 so this beta is equal to 0 0.9 so here we need to multiply this value with 0 0.9 also because this correction is applied and so from here this shear strength is equal to 557.89 kilo newton so that way you can calculate the shearing shearing strength or the shear strength and for the bearing strength the bearing capacity so it is simply equal to vb is equal to 2.5 kb dt fu divided by 1.25 kb is the minimum of those usual things that is first one is e upon 3d naught that is 40 divided by 3 into 22 and that is equal to 0 0.6061 and other one would be 60 by 66 minus 0.25 so that comes out i think 6591 so obviously this is minimum that gives us the value of kb d is 20 fu is 410 so what we should take the value of t here because if you see that bearing stress if we are pulling it here then bearing stress in this plate also should develop in the same direction but the purpose of packing plate here is not to transfer any load not to transfer load it is just there to make this connection possible so that's why when it comes to take the value of t here we will just check the sum of thicknesses of cover plate and the minimum thickness of this 
connected main plates so sum of thickness of cover plate is 6 plus 6 that is equal to 12 mm and here this thick this plate is 18 mm thick and this th plate is 10 mm thick so that gives us the value of t which is equal to 10 mm so that's why i took this question here we need not consider the thickness of cover plate in the bearing capacity because it is not transferring any load so vb here is equal to 2.5 into kb is 0 0.6061 into t is 20 into t is 10 into 410 divided by 1.25 and here we get the bearing capacity for one bolt and multiplied with 6 we get the bearing capacity of 6 bolts that is 99.4 into 6 which is equal to 596.4 kilonewton so 596.4 is the bearing capacity and 557 is the shear capacity so obviously shear capacity is the minimum and that gives us the bolt capacity you can similarly find out the rupture strength as we did in the earlier questions rupture strength and you can calculate the efficiency also now if someone asks you to design a connection so for the design purpose this load will be given what is applied this value of t will be given and so you can choose some bolt that is m24.6 we can choose or whatever m16 also we can choose and so depending upon this t wheel and this connection we'll assume the value of pitch and end distance so for pitch as we saw if we are using normal arrangement then it is minimum pitch is equal to 2.5 d and we are if we are using rolled cut then we can take this e is equal to 1.5 d so using this minimum and giving them some increment you can calculate the value of p and e and then you can find out the shear capacity and the bearing capacity and minimum of the two will give us the bolt strength and if you have decided the arrangement also then we can find out the critical section and rupture strength so the minimum strength we can find out and that will be our actual strength and depending upon that strength we can calculate we can compare that if that strength is greater than this value of applied load or not so that this design type of questions are not necessary right now that's why i have not taken maybe i'll take it after gate or es